right, so it's currently Saturday, July 11th. Uh, today, the only thing that I was looking forward to was a reveal trailer for UFC 4. I don't know if I'll put it in the description or whatever, but uh, they ended up releasing this whole thing. I watched like the live premiere of it. I've even seen like uh, some of the things where there were some leaks, some information, some sort of little descriptions and things like that. Uh, there are also other dates in the future that are apparently leaked as well, but I'm not entirely sure how accurate that is. According to a few people that I saw commenting anyway, uh, they were saying that there's going to be a beta on the 20th. It just seems like they're just saying it randomly, but I, I have no idea. There's also the idea of when the actual release date comes out. So when you go to pre-order the game, it says that you can pre-order up to August 14th. So I'm going to assume the release date is up until around that time, either the 14th or the 15th. Uh, who knows? Could be some sort of placeholder or something. It co I could be completely wrong. I have no idea. And I know I'm playing Call of Duty while talking about this right now, but I would love to have this finished before the next game comes out as well so I have something else to work on. I do not want these to run into each other. I would love to have a time period where I'm just uploading, you know, some Call of Duty mixed in with a bunch of different, you know, career request videos and stuff. That's the dream right there. You know, in my mind, that's the dream. So I'm not going to directly react to the trailer. Recently, I've been getting hit with, like, a bunch of copyright stuff from, like, all the cowboy bebop music and everything, so I don't want to take a risk with the music that's being used in this uh, as well. Oops. These are also the graphic settings I usually have on after I'm done making a video. I turn a whole bunch of different settings on to make it look real nice just for the video's sake but since call of duty isn't necessarily the talking point in this video i figured it didn't even matter anyway so trailer for the game ends up coming out uh the cover art for the whole thing actually looks pretty cool it's a little weird looking but it's pretty cool it's got israel adesanya who's currently probably one of if not my favorite fighter at the moment which is really cool because some of the people on uh twitter that i'm a, like a really big fan of all these fighters and stuff follow me on twitter and everything max holloway tony ferguson megan anderson uh, there, there's just so many different fighters out there that are just really cool people and everything Thing. Uh, Adesanya definitely fits into that mold of people that just seems like I, I don't know. He seems to get it. He doesn't follow me, but you know what I mean. Masvidal and Adesanya on the front thing, probably doing anything in their power to not have Connor back on the front of that thing. Uh, this one was kind of weird. So they showed a few new features, but ultimately, overall, I'm, I'm gonna have to be honest here. Looking at it, to me. It really wholeheartedly just looks like UFC 3 with maybe updated graphics and models with uh, some new animations, which is already to be expected, not surprised by. So I'm going to be honest, after watching the entire trailer, I'm not that impressed or incredibly excited in the sense of like something new. But of course, I'm excited to go and, you know, make a career mode regardless and feel how the new game feels. It might not look like there's ma that many improvements or a different feel or whatever. But for example, between the difference between UFC 2 to 3, there was a bit of a shift. It looks a little bit different, kind of similar to how 3 to 4. But the game's combat was a bit different. And apparently, according to them, there's a new overhauled grappling slash ground game system and everything. So I'm not really sure exactly how that's going to go. I don't know if they're going to uh, do any real huge overhauls to the striking or anything like that, if it's going to be a lot like UFC 3 or whatever. Just looking at the Reddits and the communities and stuff, I'm not really involved in the UFC, uh, you know, game community anyway. I don't really know like who's best and who's bad and all this other stuff. I don't really know any names for, you know, creators that, you know, play the game on a regular basis. But the jump between UFC 2 to UFC 3, my biggest thing was talking about, uh, physics changing. I was cool with the changes and stuff like that. I was cool with like the fluidity and all that stuff. I thought the career mode was okay. They did kind of make it seem like you could sit there and run your own press conferences and talk a whole bunch of shit to people, but that really wasn't a thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. You could be an asshole on social media for sure, but they, they made it look like I could sit here and decide, hey, I want to sit here and talk trash to whoever it is across the thing from me. I love going negative. Hopefully my next game will be fun. So showing the new things as far as it goes for this whole thing. Oh, this is necessarily going to be part of just the career mode in particular it seems like it would be but it looks like that you can actually choose like a different starting point for your character in career mode so for example if we go and make requests right and we're going to run our career mode wipe out every single division make them contemplate shutting the business down too violent there's no competition anymore requests is the only one that stands atop at all not even people in other weight divisions can hide Requees might be 265 pounds at 6'6 but if henry cejudo thinks he wants to step up <laughs> Henry Cejudo, by the way, is like the lower weight class goat next to like Demetrius Johnson and stuff. It looks like you can actually kind of pick a background where uh, I, I guess you can have like the regular old thing that you would usually do where like, oh, hey, I walked into this random gym. Thank you so much for offering me this, uh, you know, amateur fight in this organization or whatever it is. And then you go and fight through that organization a little bit, build a little bit of hype, maybe end up on, you know, the fighter contender series or whatever it is for the UFC. Dana White ends up being impressed by you and then you end up in the UFC. You know, you know how it goes. 
it's usually the typical story. But there are also a lot of other stories out there, for example, where people don't go that whole traditional route. You don't get traditional training. You might be somebody that grew up, you know, fighting in the streets and backyards and stuff like that, like Kimbo Slice. Osvidal came from that kind of background. There's a video that you can look up where the dude just walks into a bat, doesn't even know who the fuck he's fighting exactly, just ready to fucking bang with whoever was back there. So it looks like that is going to be kind of like a starting point for the game or something, where you'll be able to actually do some backyard fights. And then there's also another one that's more, uh, I guess, uh, done in like an even more extreme way where like Muay Thai and how serious all of that kind of stuff is taken, like how Adesanya is. You'll see like this cave with like uh, these serpent statues and stuff like that. And it's just, you know, this super high level, super, uh, you know, exclusive kind of, I'm not entirely sure what I want to go, but it also looks like that you can kind of deck your character out in different clothing and things like that. I don't really know how that's going to do for requests and stuff like that, but basically just mentioning a new, you know, thing. I don't necessarily know if there's more depth added to the actual career mode or whatever. Obviously, we're going to be able to see. I did see a couple parts in the gameplay where it did look like, even though they did just look like regular new animations, I'm hoping that the new systems actually make it so potentially uh, in the middle of, it looks like when you're doing like an arm bar, you can actually throw strikes in the middle of trying to get that arm bar to go. Kind of like real life. Like, obviously the request return is very, very real. I I'm hoping that, I mean, looking at player models and stuff like that, you can see between UFC 2 to 3 that the player models didn't really seem to change too much. Obviously there'll be new you know, ways to select things and there'll be new hairstyles and other things like that, but nothing really crazy over the top different looking. If I'm able to customize requests and stuff like that, and there's just this thing where I can go into the backyard and I got to get respect from the people around me to even give me an opportunity in some sort of, you know, thing. And Dana White ends up finding my viral videos online or something like that on some Kimbo Slice type shit. If I could do that kind of career building for requests, that would be legendary. Some people don't have equal opportunity. Some things aren't always cut and dry. Sometimes, you know, the story for a lot of these fighters and athletes and stuff like that they're very very different from each other so it's really cool that they're able to actually recognize that not everything especially fighting does not always go by the book if i can customize them i'm in a backyard and stuff like that i saw that you can like you know put on hats you can get like jewelry you can get shirts and pants and it did look a little goofy i'm not gonna lie but request never looks goofy and to be quite honest with you Requies has no need for jewelry, no chains, no over-the-top expensive clothing or anything like that, no robes, none of that. Requies will just show up to each and every single fight and press conference without a single shirt on and a pair of pants that can somehow hold his massive glutes within that denim. Just massive, always has his shirt. What are you gonna say? Choices and things like that. It just seems like it'll be pretty fun. Uh, who knows? It could be a complete disappointment and just be basically an entire rework of UFC 3. But to be real with you guys, I'm pretty much down to just do a UFC 3 playthrough again anyway. So I'll try to remember to put it in the description if you want to go and watch the trailer. The trailer doesn't really show too much. You see some new animations, the things that I just talked about and stuff like that, a little bit of customization. Hopefully there might be some more information that ends up coming out soon or potentially if that beta is coming out within the next few days, I'm ready. I don't think that the beta is going to end up having any kind of, uh, you know, created fighter thing, but I'm definitely going to play it if a beta comes out. We'll likely only be able to have us use, like, potentially, what, a few different kind of fighters in that beta and stuff like that, kind of like how before we had, what, it was either UFC 2 or 3 where you had Tito Ortiz versus Chuck Liddell. Those were the only people that you could pick. I'm going to assume it was something along these lines, too, where you can pick, like, Nate Diaz, Jorge Masvidal, uh, Israel Adesanya, Robert Whitaker, you know what I mean? Something like that. You can pick a few fighters, and then you just keep running it against, you know, whoever. Who who knows? It could be online. I don't know. We'll see. I'll say Kamaru Usman versus Jorge Masvidal. Kamaru Usman will probably win, uh, likely by decision, just grinding him out wrestling. I think Max Holloway will redeem himself against Alexander Volkanovsky. Gut feeling. I feel like Max will, you know, pull it back. I think Jose Aldo will also become the bantamweight champ against uh, Jan. Rose Namajunas was dominating the first fight against Jessica Andrade until that slam, so I think Rose still has a second fight. And I also think that Amanda Hibas is uh, going to end up winning against Paige Van Zandt.